Um, you know, this it, is it, not it, a dirty show. No, it's not. But this is a clean show. <laughs> it is Just a clean kidding. show. Uh, look, the bottom line is, um, I thought that song is like, oh man, this head has gone on and on. So I had to think of something really fast. I was like, I got Just movies. Keep saying it. I got movies. And <laughs> go watch my movies. Well, you should promote your movies at the beginning of the show. I should. Do people know? I don't think people know about the movies. I mean, some people find you from the movies, but some people just hear you on Adam Kroll and they listen, then they don't realize that you had the movies. Yeah, and they talk about them sometimes on Corolla. Um, you know, the other thing, Scott Mulvaney was at some convention and he ran into a couple of low carbers, like people in the industry. Yeah. And I will say big names, right? Right. I won't say their names on the air because it would embarrass them. Um, but they were like, hey, you know, oh, you work with Vinny? Oh, yeah, was, we love Vinny. Vinny's great. We listen to his show all the time. And he was saying, yeah, you know, he's got this nut butter he made, you know, with MCT oil and the whole thing. And, and they didn't know it. He, he cannot keep it on the shelves. He keeps selling. And like, no matter how, like, he doubles and triples how much he's making all the time. And, and they were like, what are you talking about? He, he makes what? And they, they had no idea. And they were claiming, oh, yeah, we keep up with Vinny all the time. It's it's funny how that works, right? <laughs> it's like how Some, somebody the other day did ask who's Anna in my in my group. Really? It's OK. You know, people, they ask, they've asked who's Vinny in your group, but it's been a long time yeah, since that yeah, happened. Yeah, but no, they do because they they like people. Everything is fragmented. That's yeah. what people say to me. Hey, I'm thinking about doing a podcast. I just look at them and go, whatever you do, don't do a podcast. <laughs> You know, I know everyone thinks you're going to do a podcast and somehow yours is going to become popular. We caught lightning in a bottle here. And right. it, we, if you said, Vinny, go do it again from scratch. No, we, we couldn't. I, I couldn't do it. I, I don't know what made this show catch on. Uh, I, I talked about it last uh, on Friday with Anna. I got a clue for the first time. I, I for the first time I listened to one of our shows and I didn't listen to the whole thing. I listened to about 25 or so minutes. Right. I went, wow, that was the first time we were on mic together. We didn't really know each other that well. No. Mm -mm. And I get it now. I get what people were glomming on to. And it was an honesty. And I think that honesty is still there for us um, because we're not out there selling stuff. And when I say selling stuff, a lot of people, they're pushing this today. They're pushing that tomorrow. They're pushing something else the next day. <clears throat> uh, Dave Asbury comes to mind. You know, we were talking about him on a Friday show. Go, you guys, if you didn't listen to the Friday show, go listen and hear why I'm furious with Dave Asbury. Yeah. And, you know, there are a lot of these hucksters out there who they just move from thing to thing to thing. I knew one guy who started off in this space and then he went off to become a rock star. And I don't know if that worked out or not. You know, it's just like all kinds of different things. People think, oh, I'm going to do this. No, I'm here doing this. I don't care if anyone listens. I'm doing this to help the one person, the, the, the Scott Kings and the Tim, Tim, whatever your last name Scott, is. Scott, you were mentioned first before Tim. Yeah, before Tim. Tim. Scott this, this, was this. very, Scott was very, he's not mad at Tim, but I could tell he's wounded. As because he, you said we're replacing he, Scott with Tim. <laughs> Look, I, you know, people know I'm kidding. There's no replacing Scott, right? I mean, no, it's good. he's he's the OG. Yeah. And, um, but but at any rate, you know, it's you know, it, it we do this because if one person is paying attention and one person, that's all I care about. You know, a guy uh, this morning uh, was asking me. He goes, "So you don't really charge for your pie?" I said, "No, you know, we don't." It, it's he goes, "Well." But you use it to make to sell your movies. I said, no, that, no, not really. You know, it sells my movies a little bit, but not much. I have to get out there and hammer that. I have to hit the trail and hammer that on other shows. And it might sell a few books of mine per year, not like it did the first couple of years. But, you know, none of it ain't, you know, goes to making me rich by any stretch. But I do it because I'm trying to help people. Um, and along the way, Anna and I started Cottage Industries around it. Uh, she started with the um, Eat Happy Kitchen cookbooks and then Eat Happy Kitchen sauces, which, by the way, I got my my spicy sauce. have not tried it yet. It, it arrived. Um, I'm thinking about doing it. With, check this out, Anna. Okay. I, I could be wrong, but, but just hear me out. Okay. Tomorrow, I'm going to make an omelet. 
gonna already. Put, I'm going to put cheese. Already, I'm into where this is going. Right, I'm going to put cheese. I'm going to brown some ground beef. I'm going to put okay. ground beef and cheese in the omelet before I fold it over. And that's going to be melting. Okay. On top, I'm going to do a ladle of this warm. I'm going to warm it up. I'm you gonna gotta, if you're going to do it that way, warm it up first. Yeah. I'm going to ladle it and then I'm going to just hit it with a dollop of creme fraiche. Boom. So the way I'm doing it. You now, have rendered me speechless. Okay. You know what I'm going to do the next day? Okay. Tell I'm going to get some, I'm going to get the big green chilies. I'm going to do cheese and chili in the omelet, right? Are you talking about the hatch chili? Or are you talking yeah. about the poblano? Or the are you talking poblano. about the green bell pepper? No, the poblano. Uh, you know, it takes, and I'm going to use Mexican. I, right now, I'm. if you're just listening to this, I have my hand up to the sky to the Lord yeah. on, upon the mention of a poblano. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to put the cheese in there, and, and then I'm going to heat it up again, and boom, I'm going to hit it with a little creme fraiche on top of that. See, Anna, as you know, I don't know how to cook, but I know what I like and what tastes good. Yeah. And I, I go, I like that, and I'm going to like that, and I'm going to put that. And I can do that. And I don't know if that's cooking. I can't. I, the alchemy of cooking is it's, beyond my it's, reach. It's about being able to put together a meal for yourself. Right. And I think that's people get scared. What did somebody write? I can't. They wrote something that was like it was it was such a it was a bonkers question to me because mm -hmm. I'm so used to it was something like, you know, can I sub salmon for halibut or something so easy and obvious to me? Oh, I know what it was. It was an aioli question. It was a because I have the homemade mayo recipe. But you went from salad, book. you went from salmon to halibut, and then you were right to aioli. And then aioli, I yeah. Didn't know how you got there, <laughs> but okay. But well, you know, because ten years ago your brain was like that, and I was like, whatever, old dum dum. <laughs> and now I'm the old dum dum, and I can't remember anything. So don't worry, karma's a bitch, and I'm feeling it. Yeah. Um. F you, man. <laughs> one of the first like ten episodes, you're like that guy. You know the guy. He lives, you know, the guy, he the lives guy. in the, Anna, Anna, he lives in the canyon, yeah. the guy. I was telling you where, I was telling you exactly. You were telling me where, about Joe Rogan. And I was like, who, yeah, what the, guy? You know, the guy, give me something. He doesn't shave. He lives in the canyon. He lives in the canyon. And you see, I know where he lives <laughs> because I trained people who lived right next door right. to him. And right. I could, yeah, I knew, I knew what Joe And Rogan it was 10 was. minutes of, of, come on. You have to know yeah, the guy who lives guy in the with canyon. The beard. <laughs> yeah, with the beard. With yeah, the beard, he, he, he's to shave the canyon. Everything. Like that's everybody in LA who works yeah. in television. Yeah, he's got a beard and lives in the canyon. Yeah. So anyway, this very nice woman wrote to me and she said, um, I see your recipe for homemade mayo. I'm making it. Now you say afterwards, and I think I say something like, and I, again, correct me if I'm wrong. It was like eight, nine, 10 years ago that I wrote this recipe and I just make it, you know, cause I have it memorized. And she goes, you can add garlic and make garlic aioli, or you can add herbs and make, you know, or lemon or whatever I put in there just to, and, and when I say things like that, I'm just giving you guys ideas to how to tweak on it. Right. And she goes, but exactly how much garlic do I add? And I have to remember that that's a very fair question for somebody who thinks they're going to mess something up. Wait, and what I'm telling you is you're not going to mess anything up. Can I answer that question? Yeah. If you know what you're going to say, if your name is Vinny Totter, it's your back a dump truck of garlic. Up to that. Press, 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 yeah. press, 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 press. There is not enough garlic that you can put in. I don't recommend starting with the Vinnie Tortorich level of garlic. I think that you should start with just uh, just a little bit and then taste it and then add it more and then taste it. And then if you want to get to the dump truck level and you know this about yourself, you can do that. Vinny knows himself very well. My Armenian friends walk up to me and go, oh, no, that's that that's too much. That's true. Mark Garagos will walk up to me. No, no, you've gone overboard. <laughs> you're in, you're insulting the, the people who are from further Mediterranean, like closer to the equator. They're like, stop. Yeah. They're like, what are you doing? You're not even you're not even a normo. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> the Kardashians are pissed off at my level of garlic. Yeah. Juice. I think that's offensive. Trocollasian won't be Did my you see anymore. Kim Kardashian's the new spokesperson for the beyond. Someone sent me that. That shows that she will whore herself off for anything. And by the way, now I'm I'm a bit of a Kim Kardashian fan because she's done a lot to help a lot of people. She has. You know, at first I was not. You know, ten years ago I was going. These Kardashians are the worst thing in the world. You know what? Um, I changed. I, I I went three sixty on Kim because 
she's not just out there. Wait, 180. You know, Oh yeah, you gotta go. Yeah, you gotta. You gotta go, go 180. Yeah. 360. You're back where you started. Oh wait, Kim, I didn't go 360. I just went 180 on you. And you um, went 180, but then you're coming back towards 360 when you saw the Beyond thing. Yeah, you know, I, I think she started using her her celebrity and fame to do good things. And, yes, um, I agree. And, and and when I started seeing that, I went, you know what? Good on her. And um, she, you know, so I I've changed my opinion. And by the way, guess what, folks? You can do that on things. In you can. World. And um, or at least I think you can. I don't know if the rest of the world thinks you're allowed to do that, but and, I would hope you're allowed to do that because then we don't grow as as humans. Why are we on this earth if we're regurgitating the same things over and over again? We don't learn anything. Oh, I, look, uh, things I believed when I was 20, I, 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 I look back at that now and go, what was I thinking? You know, but it's all part of growing up, you know, and uh, and life is dynamic. And uh, I, I don't know what else to say about that, but. Can, Anyone who says, oh, he's set in his ways. Uh, look, if if I'm doing at 80 when I'm doing at 60, uh, I will be I will be pissed. That means I hadn't I haven't grown. You know, a lot of times, you know, Tallulah is not my biological child, but sometimes she'll say something and I'll I'll argue with her and go, what the hell? Come on to look what the and then I'll, I'll, I'll just let it ruminate for a day or two. And, I, you know, I might even go look up a few things and, and look around. You know, it's, it's got a point. You know, look at her. You know, she and, and I'll change my mind. Yeah. And, and you know, it, and that's a kid. I'm sure Lucy's done that with you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Many times. And by the way, they both graduated this past weekend. That's right. Super that's cool. right. Um, now, did your graduation last like the Queen's birthday for like a month? Or see, here's the thing. We are going to New York next month for 10 yeah. days. So we did not attend the graduation ceremony. And I think she was kind of relieved not to have the parental pressure there, but yeah. she had the uncles there and it was a long ceremony. Justin and George were there and. Oh, good. They, they took plenty of photo evidence, but yes, we were very proud, but we did not have to do sit through the interminably long pontificating graduation speech. Well, you know, Commencement the, address. Tallulah's undergraduate speech that seemed to have gone on forever, but we were melting in the sun. Yeah. On that one. So I guess maybe it felt a lot longer. Yeah. This one went on for days, um, which and, and is that know, a law school thing? They just have more. I, I don't know. Events Because you're really well, like, you know, part of it is Tallulah's an only child with three parent thing. Right. And uh, everybody's just ridiculously proud of her and um, that kind of thing. So her dad came into town around Tuesday or Wednesday of last week. And, um, you know, we were still, you know, we're throwing this big giant party. Now, so, uh, I got to tell you this. I, I'm not a party guy, as you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm freaked out by being at parties and I've never had a party at my house. And now here we are. You know, there's 150 people who are going. Did we talk about this on Friday at all? No, we didn't. But 150 people are going to descend on our house. And I don't know any of them, <clears throat> except I invited my buddy, uh, Dave, the kayaker, That's and good. his wife. So I had um, one guest and uh, you got to have some friends there, Dave. And um, and Dave and I barely ever see each other, which makes him the perfect friend. Um, and there's this other guy I like who's my age, uh, Matthew, who I met at the gym. And Matthew has invited me over for a scotch and. And I invited him, but he and his wife were going to be out of town. So 150 people descending on, on the house. Serena and I were whirling dervishes, just trying to get the house. Yeah, you were doing the yard. I remember having to like. Oh, yeah, just night and day. Yeah. Trying to grow grass, please grass grow. You know, and, you know, we're putting in plants and everything. We're getting it ready. And then, you know, and you know, this catered, you know, this barbecue thing, right? Big giant barbecue thing. They come in and there was a margarita station. Now I didn't have the margarita because it's a sugary thing. Uh, I walked around a party with my own drink. I nursed one drink all night, but it was a scotch from my own bar. I was, I was pissed off the next day and we were cleaning up because I noticed that I thought these margarita people that came in were making special margaritas. Oh, it was like an outside company to do the market, like caterers, yeah, 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 yeah. margarita. Yeah, so they came in 
they these margaritas were nothing more than Cuervo 1800 silver because the bottles were left. Right. And they were putting Cuervo, the you know, the the high fructose corn syrup the pre-made wow. mix, pre-made mix. They didn't even do a scratch margarita. No, no, no. That's the, ridiculous. And I'm like looking at that going, I paid a, a company. <laughs> I yeah, you, you could have just made. Well, it, you would have made it, nice ones. You wouldn't thanks, have even used thanks that. Thanks for poisoning my guest with um, high fructose corn syrup. You know, that's annoying. So, uh, speaking of sugar, we also had a, um, a Hagen Dazs, not Hagen Dazs, a Ben and Jerry's cart um, there. So Ben and Jerry's cart, and the guy was serving that. But um, I did have some of the food. I had the, uh, I had the pork. The barbecue pork without any sauce on it. It's delicious. I had a big yeah. pile of that. But I, you know, the party started at four four thirty. I promptly showed up at like five forty five. <laughs> <laughs> I was late for my own party. All I had to do was walk downstairs. But you, uh, you were in glam. Is that was was going on? You had your glam squad. You were running behind. No, I I was. I can hear people downstairs. <laughs> uh huh. And I was freaking out a little bit. <laughs> and. <laughs> Of course, I was at the last minute. You know, the party was about to start. I'm sweating. People are getting ready. I see people coming. I'm still in the backyard, grimy and sweaty, pulling stuff together. And I ran upstairs at the last minute. And then Andy called. And then this happened. I, I was still doing business. It yeah. was still work day in California. So I was doing all that. And then I had to shave and shower. And that takes time. And, but, and then Andy called back. And I want to get into Andy a little bit in just a second. But yeah, we, we had a party and uh, I had to stand down there and talk to people. I have the best idea for you Fine. here. This is sometimes you have to come up with like little tips and tricks to make yourself less socially awkward, right? To make the things. And I know that there's all sorts of like conversation starters and icebreakers, but here's what's perfect for you, Vinny. Here's my pitch. Go on. Get out your Ken Onion knife sharpener. Oh, yeah, I got that thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you tell the guests ahead of time, hey, you're coming to the party. Why don't you bring your knives and I'll sharpen them. And then they come over and they give you the knives and you can just have a project to do the entire party. And you don't have to talk to anybody. And then you don't even have to you don't want to drink because you're sharpening knives. You have to stay focused. Right. Right. I'm just saying I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah, but that that Serena would go, what are you doing with the knife sharpener? And by, by uh, the, you'd be like, I'm sharpening Matthew's knives. Matthew's my new friend. Yeah, he came over with his knives. And yeah. by the way, it, it, it's called the work sharp, work sharp knife sharpener. I need to I get have, it. I have, I, I have the Ken Onion edition. It's got extra. If you get it, it, by the way, I've been using that knife sharpener for years. Every now and then you got to buy new bands or whatever because you yeah. wear them out. Uh, but boy, it really does a job. I can jewel up a knife and really get it. Get That's a, what a, I'm going to ask for for Christmas. I want that. It's not really a Christmas gift. It's something you can get. It's why it, I don't think it's it, expensive. Oh, I we don't, don't do we don't do expensive Christmas gifts. Oh, in that case, it's perfect for you. <laughs> Isn't it um, like 50 or 80 dollars or something? If I, I don't know, I bought mine so long ago. And by the okay, way, well, I'm just trying work. to help you out because here's what I do at a party. I manage the food and the drinks and it's a constant thing and i clean as i go along because i hate nothing worse than a messy house after everybody leaves and that keeps me occupied where i don't have to necessarily socialize constantly because it exhausts me as well got it so I, I but need- for you since you're not going to be doing that you probably have caterers and help and stuff at that we're party gonna, you could be sharpening have- people's knives i'm not gonna I'm not. I told Serena, I said, can we make it another 20 years? I, I've gone my whole life without Don't have another party. party. You know, but Serena likes to socialize. Right. It, 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 and I want her to be happy. And, um, and that means a lot that she's happy. <clears throat> I want she wanted to celebrate Tallulah too. That's worth <clears throat> yeah. it. And yeah. That, that was kind of a big deal for us. The next, the next party will be her engagement party or wedding something or other. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that'll be so whenever that happens, we will do be something. the next big party. Yeah. At any rate, um, that that's what's that's what was going on. And then Saturday, there was all kinds of stuff. And her boyfriend's parents, he's graduating law school, too. They were in town. So we did a lot of stuff for them. 
And then Sunday was the actual graduation. No, wait, Saturday? No, it was Sunday. Because I talked to you Saturday. Yeah, you said yeah. it was the next day. Yeah, and then we had to do other stuff on Saturday. And then Sunday was, it, it just went on forever. And, and um, <laughs> but there, there we have it. She's all graduated. Um, Andy, we, we are catching up fast. By this, by this Friday, as this show comes out, uh, on Monday, we should be all caught up at purevitaminclub.com. And I want to thank everyone who said, you know what, it's no big deal. And, um, <clears throat> it, you know, when you get it, you get it, we get it, the supply chain shortages. I respect the people who called and said, told me to go fuck myself, and I run a horrible company. Um, and I will never do anything with you again, you fucking asshole. I, I respect that. Um, we were not able to get you your product. And I'm sorry. Um, but there was nothing we can do. There was literally nothing we can do. Let me finish. Mm -hmm. I, I know you, you're chomping at the bit. Um, I also um, want to tell the guy who used incredibly horrible derogatory terms towards me um, that um, you know what it, it was uncalled for there was only one person who did that and he did it recently um, wow wow o over over a $30 bottle of vitamins the, the things this man said in an email you need to check yourself sir um, but that was only one of those we, when we were able to encapsulate and get the bottles filled, <clears throat> Andy took 10,000 or so bottles into the office. So we didn't even do them at pick, pack and ship. You know, we have a pick, pack ship company because they have to ship all of our other stuff. We brought it in. We have our staff sitting there night and day shipping out. Right. Shipping out. And this is the multi? <laughs> This is the multi. We, we yeah. ran behind on the multi because th there was one or two ingredients that we could not get. Right. And since we're not the size of, say, Centrum or any of these right. companies. You're not the priority. Yeah. Like they're, they're making stuff years in advance. With our stuff, you're getting real stuff fresh. fresh right now. And, you know, that's just part of our commitment. You're getting the real deal with us. Um, as I would say, you're not getting dead vitamins. You're getting good, fresh stuff. Oh, I can relate but to this so hard. Whenever, whenever they, you know, they call and say, look, we cannot get the stuff. And we called three or four other companies to see if they can subcontract for us. And everyone told us the same thing. We, sorry, we can't get it either. Right. Nobody can get anything. So um, I get why people are upset and I hope they come back. Um, and uh, that's all I have to say about that. And we have people working double and triple overtime to make that happen. <clears throat> Sorry, Anna. Um, and then um, over at over at um, Innocent G Foods. Um, I made a big mistake. Because once we caught up, I wanted to do something to thank everyone. So the way I wanted to thank everyone was giving a big 30% discount. What I didn't realize was a lot of people were waiting for us to catch up to put orders in. And on top of that, they saw 30% discount. And we fell behind again, we started working extra shifts, we've now hired even more people, and I'm almost done putting up a second line. Um, and we're going to try to run that equipment day and night. There was a rumor that got started by someone who worked for us that said the equipment is broken has been down for days. We don't, we know who said that and we know why they said it, they heard information. Something broke one day for about two hours. And Andy had to run down there and go fix it. And we don't know why that person said what they said. That person was reprimanded. Right. Um, but not fired. I don't believe in firing people for making a mistake. But, you know, <clears throat> it's one of those things where you try to do the right thing. So no more discounts. For <laughs> and two no, you can't. You can't. And by the way, we weren't even making money on the discount. 
you know, it, it, right. as you know, we don't make that much money on these products. And when you take their, that was basically giving it away. Um, right. So um, that's all I wanted to say about that. Um, I wasn't pissed off about anyone saying derogatory things about me, but something happened today. And boy, it hit me right in the gut. Mm. I was yeah. over at Harris Teeter. Uh huh. And I was <clears throat> checking out at the, um, you know, self checkout, because I, I was just buying a ton of ground beef. And I'm getting ready to check out. And the woman who works the stand, she goes, Sir, would you like the senior discount? <laughs> Did you say yes? I said, I'm not a senior. You and she got offended. <laughs> now, I don't know where senior starts. Right. And um, first off, it was a gut punch because I look like a senior. OK, right. I, I, I have I'm, I'm not shaving or anything. I have a gray beard and I had like my Indiana Jones hat on. You know, I had my Cobra hat because I was working out in the yard and I was a bit sweaty. And I guess I looked and I came home and said, Serena, at over at Harris Teeter, where where do they start with, <laughs> you know, seniors? She goes, 60. She goes, you did get the discount, right? And I said, no, I, I was I was almost offended. I was, felt like a gun. No, take the discount, man. And, oh, next time I will, because I'm 15, I'll be 60 in a few months. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Serena's 60. So uh, I'm going to take the discount next time. Um, but yeah, it felt like a gut punch to, to know that people are going, hey, senior, you can, <laughs> you can get a discount. I didn't realize I was that guy. But I guess I am, right? Mm -hmm. We're all there. Is that what it is? Well, listen. <laughs> I remember watching a TikTok that says you don't have to be 50 to get your AARP because they have to technically give it to anybody who calls and asks. It's focused towards people 50 and up. <clears throat> but I was like, oh, that's interesting. So now young people are like, it's cool to have the thing. And I'm like, well, wait till you turn 50. And they're like, here's your, here's your automatic AARP membership. It's like, hang on. I don't even really know. When I, I did not ask 50, for that. When I turned 50, I started getting the AARP card. Yeah, they just sent it to you. They just know. They just know. I don't know. What are, what are the benefits of that? I don't even know what AARP is. See, I've it's, never it's been. Like discount. A, I don't know. Lauren refuses to join and I'm not 50 yet. So I don't know. I, I don't know how any anything works. I, I never feel like doing discount things because I feel like I'm taking advantage of something. Does that make sense? Oh, I, don't know. I, I feel like if they <laughs> offer it, then I don't feel like. I don't feel like there's any free lunch. Um, but of course, the T-shirt <laughs> I have on. I get that. Can I show my free T-shirt? Yeah. Oh, Kurt Lapier, you better be tuning in right now watching this YouTube. Did you hear about what happened to this? Uh, I wore oh my, it. In, wasn't he was robbed, right? He was robbed. What happened? Oh, I don't know. No, never mind. No, he. I didn't know he was robbed. He was. I don't know. Well, that was a long time ago. I'm sorry. What happened? I, I wore this T-shirt in a video a couple of weeks ago, and people loved the T-shirt. He started selling T-shirts. Great. That's awesome. So you know that means uh, Lois. I need you to make me a T-shirt that's cooler than this T-shirt. <laughs> that's right. So get and to work, Lois. By the way, Kurt and I have a new business venture. I don't know if you know about this, but somebody said instead of pixie sticks or, you know, remember the lick -Aid, which is a candy stick and you put it in the sugar and you and the sour sugar and then you lick it. Do ultra salt electrolytes, right? So I need your ultra salt electrolytes. And then that was Kurt's idea. And then my idea was you take a hot dog and you dip it in. And so we're going <laughs> to. So oh, I'm pretty sure that Kurt and I are going to be my... laughing all the way to the bank. Yeah, I'm glad you guys aren't officially on my team to come up with new products. Because... We are amazing at product development and don't, yeah, don't forget it. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited to go to Austin to KetoCon because Kurt's going to be there. And while everybody else is eating brisket, we'll probably be eating hot dogs <laughs> like losers. I, Anna, you and I need to, when I get there, we need to go to dinner that Friday night because I'm leaving right after my talks on Saturday. Delta just punted my flight to arrive. We arrive in Austin at like 9 p.m. So really? I don't know what time you're rolling in. If you're rolling in late, for sure. But if not, we're not going to be able to do I'm that. rolling in when I get there because I'm driving in. Um, if you I'm so like, pissed off. They just changed. They bumped it three hours. And if like, you want to, I can give you a ride back to L.A. If you want to leave. With oh, I have to. I'm going to Atlanta right uh, after. 
Thank you, though. I know I, we would have taken you up on that. If anybody wants to ride back with me from Kino don't don't make that offer. Some crazy person is going to sit in your seat and do murder on you. You no, no, <laughs> you absolutely not. Do murder on me. I'm not gonna. I'm not allowing this offer okay. of a ride to Los Angeles to happen. Just hang out in the car with Vinny Tortridge. We can have a contest. See who I'll wins. Give Scott King a ride, and all of a sudden, Scott, okay, Scott on. King is the only one who's allowed. Yeah, to he might turn on. Me. I wouldn't even let you do that with Kurt Lapierre. You guys would kill each other by the end of it. No, I think Kurt and I would get along because he's pretty, I've had. He's pretty quiet. I've had conversations with him. Um, like we met at uh, Kansas City. Yeah, Kansas. he's great. And yes, uh, that's where we ate the hot dogs at one in the morning. I when remember I was thinking hammered. that. I remember thinking, oh wait. I could hang out with this dude. Oh, wait, yeah. he lives in North Dakota. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never see him again. He's going to have to come south for that. The, but the, you know what? Uh, and Kurt, go on. What? What? Huh? what? Huh? <laughs> you see, folks, this is that kismet we're talking about. I'll go first. Fuck you. No, I was going to say, are more people coming to KetoCon? Are they coming to Austin? I know Bob Zimmer's coming. Yeah, but do we need Bob Zimmer with the no shirt on and the, the apron? Yes, because he's going to be he's going to win carbs play. He's going to be the shirtless chef and win carbs. Yeah, we, we got to give it to him. Um, yeah. Is my girlfriend coming? Lois? I don't know. We Can need we to find out. out. I'm really I'm really excited and I want I want to make sure folks are coming to KetoCon. So let us know. Tweet at us and tell us if you're coming, if you got your ticket. And if you haven't got your ticket, get your ticket to KetoCon. Use the discount code Vinny for the I think the, the Vinny code is good for the all weekend pass, right? And you get 50 bucks off the pass. Strong recommend. But I think it's time to start thinking. It's end of May. It's time to start thinking about getting your ticket if you're coming to Austin. We'll find out if Laura. Who are you calling? My girlfriend, Lois. We, oh, okay. We talk now. Yeah. And then I want to read the uh, colonoscopy preparation diet that was given to Lauren yesterday. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, it's, hey, it's Lois, can, can we quite a read. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on, Anna. Anna, she's coming on. Hang okay, on. great, great, great. I love it. Yeah. Um, yeah I got to get this in that hole like that. <clears throat> Lois? Am I? Yes. Hi. Uh, you're on with me and Anna. <laughs> oh, hey, baby girl. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I, I don't do the hey thing. Hey. You shouldn't. That would be really just weird did. if you did that. <laughs> hey, uh, Lois, are you going to KetoCon? No, unfortunately not. Oh, man. See, I'm not going. If Lois is not going, I'm not oh, going. Okay. Well, if you're not going, I'm not going. But wait, Kurt's, <laughs> Kurt's going to be there. Kurt, Kurt, Kurt's going to be there. Bob's going to yeah. be there. I think Jackie uh, Jones is going to be there. I love Jackie. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing carbs you play. Know. All the, all the cool Wait, things. Leona, you love to wear costumes. Why are you not coming purely for carbs play? <laughs> I'm going to give out spice samples, too. Come on, oh. Leona. Why, why aren't you coming? Um, oh, it's just kind of timing and budget and things like that. <laughs> I'll give you a, I'll give you a boring. Ride. You can ride back to L.A. <laughs> with me. No, that would be wrong. Some that, that would be <laughs> that would be wrong. Yeah, that, that would, would be like a like a John Hughes movie. Yeah, that that would not work out the way it's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be somewhere uh, in El Paso and actually. things would go south. Yeah. Yeah, it just would not go well. No. You know, I could see us having that fight in the desert where she says pull over and she gets out and she yeah. runs in it. And I yell, where do you think you're going? And then she goes, I don't know. And you know, <laughs> and you're like, get in the car. And she's like, no, no. And then she like, like a, a truck passes by, and she's like pretending to hitchhike. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, that whole and then thing. he stops because he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have to fight him. And I got to tell him, no, she's she's fine, and the whole thing. And then you get a you get into fisticuffs with him, and then it messes your shoulder up, and then you have to go back to the hospital, and then she's at your bedside nursing you back to health. Yeah, and then her husband's like, what are you doing there? You shouldn't have even left. It, yeah, the whole thing it's is very cool. messy. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> we we just wrote a John Hughes movie. Is what we, did. we wrote some kind of movie. Yeah, that's what the movie can be called. Some kind of movie. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> Leona, can you wear like one of those kind of uh, Mexican -y looking skirts with like a leather halter top with cowboy boots? 
I mean, oh, yeah. not that he, not that he's already envisioned this. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just what seeing, that look would be like when you're hitchhiking. I'm, you know, yeah, I'm just coming yeah. up with the whole scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I got. Yeah. I, as a matter of fact, I have she's that. She's very amenable to this. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah I, I think she's liking this idea. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we'll, you yeah, know, we'll see you in in uh, El Paso, Lois. All right, on the side of the road. Great. <laughs> 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 what could go possibly home. go wrong her, her suitcase like her clothes would be all over the lawn she has a really chic retro hard shell suitcase though yeah with the outfit oh yeah yeah the whole deal mm -hmm. i can see it yeah okay uh, well, Lord, uh, well now now that you have this all figured out for me i'm gonna have to show up like that aren't i yeah yeah hey look <laughs> i think we figured out your carbs play outfit when do you take over for Tallulah officially? Uh, beginning of June. So, so folks, um, yeah, go go look at the notes. Uh, those notes are being done by Leona. Tallulah's given up that job, and um, Leona is gracious enough to fill in. I don't know why she would have a budget problem. She's making big bucks now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's killing it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> See what I love about Leona? I can say any stupid thing. She just laughs. She, it, she's, <laughs> she's very unflappable. Yeah. I am. Yeah. Leona, we need to come up with a t-shirt, you know, kind of like okay. we came up with a hat. Okay. Um, but tell her your requirement. This is, this, gotta, is what, this is what graphic designers and artists love. Go ahead, Vinny. So, say well, you know what? I, I gave uh, I gave Leona a long leash last time. I just said, look, I want okay. somewhat of a diamond shape and just put NSNG in it, do some stuff. She showed me a few things. The problem is she gave me too many choices. She's I'm too sure <laughs> she's a pro. But here's the thing. This is this is what Vinny said. He goes, I need Leona to make me a shirt that's cooler than Kurt's shirt. Yeah. So, the, so there you go. Those are your, that's your directive. Can, can you do that? He's got a pig. Can I do his. that? Is there a pig? Oh, I do like pigs. I'm going to get the pig shirt. His, his is like a silhouette. It's an implied kind of pig head, kind of round with a little bit of ears implied. And then the rest of it is, is kind of like stand up. Let me see it again. All right. Hang on. I'm going to move my mic away. Anderson. Okay. Do, do, do some fashion modeling. Oh yeah, it is implied. I see. That's that is that's a good shirt, and it looks like a Top Gun situation too. Like it's like a get your wings. Oh, Top Gun! What, what is that? That's coming out uh, <laughs> this Friday. <laughs> is that tomorrow? Probably. It's tomorrow. That's tomorrow night. I get to go see Top Gun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you feel the need? The need for speed. Oh, listen. I mean. Uh, you better it, play some Top Gun music. I, I can't you need to it. play um, Take My Breath Away for Lois. I can't do it during the show because Bill asked me not to. That's right. But he Lois, did. when you listen to the show on Monday, there's okay. going to be a little something at the end for you because Bill is in the middle of doing Fast and Furious 28 or whatever. And um, <laughs> or Hobbs and Shaw, or whatever. Bill has a real job where he does mm -hmm. real things. So boring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, he does the sound for all that. He does my stuff on the side. So I promised him I wouldn't do anything he would have to clean up in the video until after all that's over with. But if you okay. listen to the show on Monday, Lois, there'll be yes. something in there for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be waiting. <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> you heard that? Anna, you heard that voice? Yeah, yeah. I heard it. That was quite the register. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, we all heard it. <laughs> He's writing something down right now. Yeah, and my pen's still not working that well because I have to put in. Don't shake it. it. You already it already exploded. It, it's working kind of. Okay. You don't keep like just a backup bic. No, I only have found. <laughs> oh. And. Um, the, as you know, there's only three brands I have. Here's the one I like, and Leona will know this one because she's an artist. One of the oh, the Pentel Art Arts Hybrid Technica. I like the really, really thin 0.03 gel pens. 
Oh, no, no. You, you need the, the 1.0s, baby. You need. Oh, no, I don't. It's oh. too much. <gasps> Oh yeah. no, gosh, that's messy. Uh, oh no, I like a nice thick line. No. Yeah. I'm very upset <laughs> by that. The nibs on my. And, oh, pens. what do you use? I, some like extra porous paper so it just bleeds everywhere. Oh yeah, I want it to bleed. <laughs> you know, non archival. I use something close to newspaper to write on. I want it to bleed a lot. Um, even my, the, the, you want the paper to just rip with liquid. Just, you can't even read what it says. Yeah. Micron. I like the micron pens too. I don't know that one. Well, the artists use it, but I like to write. Oh, with oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that they draw with this. Yeah. But I can't draw. So I just write words and terrible penmanship with it. So Lois, let's come up with a t-shirt to beat Kirk's t-shirt. Uh, no rush. Okay. Kirk. No rush. Is it Kirk? And His now. name is Kirk now. Captain Kirk. Yeah. Captain Kirk Lapeer. Yeah. Lapeer. <laughs> Captain Kirk uh, Lapeer. Yeah. Going where no man has gone before. <laughs> Can we um, do some fitness? Say, what else you wanted to say on it? Just NSNG or do you have some, you know? Oh, just something like NSNG better than Kurt's t-shirt. Something like that. <laughs> Perfect. Absolutely. Is that too on the nose? That gets me something to work with. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> She's know. good. She's going to do it too. Captain Kirk, look <laughs> out. It's going to be way. Hey, better. You know what? I want you to do around the edges of all that writing. Just a big map of the United States. <laughs> it's it's a it's a nod. Don't worry. Kurt. Oh, oh, I know. What I know exactly. Is. I know what you're talking he about. He really, I will say, you know how we're trying to push um, how uh, king of all fitness and queen of all cooking. He's trying to push the, that whole North Dakota story down, down south. Yeah, and it ain't mm -hmm. working. No, no, no we no, see no, right no. through it, Captain. You know what? With all that cold weather, they haven't seen their penises in years. Yeah. Oh, they can't. Yeah. Stack of dimes. It's too cold. Yeah, yeah. stack of dimes. <laughs> <laughs> Half a stack of dimes. Half is half a stack. <laughs> Captain half stack. Hey, Anna, can we just get Lois on every week? Just to just, just, just to be our live laugher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she has nothing better to do. Yeah, we, we wouldn't need this anymore. <laughs> right, let's see if she's laughing. No? She is. Lois, Lois laugh. Yeah. I'm sorry. What? Well, I'm gonna say something. You can't stupid. laugh on command. Let, let me say something <laughs> stupid. She's gonna it. laugh. It's gotta be real. It's gotta be real, baby. Yeah. You, you laugh at anything, though. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I'm discerning. I just don't <laughs> toss a good laugh out to anybody for any reason. <laughs> <laughs> See. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Is she laughing? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Vinny, what do you say? Do, do you know that we're doing a show right now? Yeah, what the hell? I do five oh, okay. shows a week. I can't enjoy one for myself. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> I mean, haven't we had enough? I mean, you know. Haven't we had enough? I mean, <laughs> Truer words have never been spoke. Haven't we had enough? I've been trying to tell you that for years, and yet you're still like, okay, well, so get on the mic. Like, we're going to do yeah. more of this. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I guess we are. Did you see the dick wad that the other day, you know, they put up a few of my shows and he goes, oh, yeah, it's behind a paywall. Of course, he's mentioning the ones behind a paywall, a paywall. We don't even have a pay picket fence. <laughs> it's like, but, I think, but also you're allowed to sell content that you created. Yeah, what, what that doesn't happened, make any sense. What happened to um, I'd like to keep this show going. You know, now I got to go pay Lois. You know, there's Anna, there's Lois. But I don't understand. Like Bill, I have a cycling of tweets Gabby. from all of my recipes and we cycle the tweets. And the whole point is not because I'm going to tweet that and a thousand people are going to go buy the book, but it go, you go, Oh yeah, that I should, I want to check that out or what you know what I mean? It's just about promoting your stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. It's your social media. You're allowed to put on it, whatever you want. And also you're allowed to sell content that you create. I have had it with everybody wanting everything for free. Yeah, we give away so much free content. Yeah. Screw it, bro. Ski. Yeah. Anyway, I know people get cranky about it. 
I saw some of the comments about the pure vitamin club stuff that you were mentioning earlier and it, it, it broke my heart. Oh, I'm talking about the ones where I didn't even see they, the emails you're talking about. I get my own nasty emails. No, the emails <laughs> but, are, are the, the emails are, you know, most of it is, Hey guys, thanks. Um, we really, you know, we're sticking with you. We really appreciate it. All this kind of good. stuff. We get a mm -hmm. lot of that. But mm -hmm. then there's, you know, the ones I was telling you about earlier. And it, it you know, it hurts. I get it. Um, Listen, I'm out of marinara and we're behind. Mm, I have other things in stock. So if you place an order without marinara, you'll get your order. But if you place an order with marinara, it will be sent as soon as they can make the new marinara. It took, it's taking a little while to get. I think by now we'll have the tomatoes on the way. But Again, supply chain. And if it's not tomatoes, it's jars. And if it's not the jars, it's the labels. It's like getting it all to happen at once is a lot different than it used to be. Yeah. And everybody's running on a bajillion cylinders. And um, so, yeah. And it, trust me, I know for a fact, Vinny and myself, nobody likes taking your money without being able to send you a thing. So, well, thank you uh, according to patients. a couple of people, I'm robbing them. This is my way of robbing them. No, you're not doing that. That's oh God, it, it just hurts, Anna. It, you know, it, it does. Yeah. And like I, I know. Said, just one guy was, you know, the, the derogatory stuff he said. Well, if he's being derogatory, that's not about you. Yeah, that is not about you at all. That's somebody like, who really, feels like you really you really think I'm stealing. They feel like the world is out to get them. And we I promise you of anybody who might be out to get you. We are not out to get you. We want to support our customers. We want you guys to come back and buy more. That's number one rule of business is have your customers come back and buy more, have product available because it, so it breaks our hearts to not do it. And we try to be as communicative as possible, possible. And you're right. When things are fractured, sometimes the emails go to spam or sometimes they don't see the twits, the twits. <laughs> And that's the thing you, get, you didn't see my tweets. Be Why? Between oh dear, between Twitter and the emails we sent out and talking about it on the show, and people are going, I I didn't hear anything. It's like, how do I know. you not hear anything? I know. You know, I get people who are mad. If this will happen, this happened with pumpkin. This will happen with the spicy. The spicy will sell out. We're not going to make any more until next year. Yeah. People will all of a sudden be like, I didn't even know you were selling that. How come I didn't know? And now it's sold out. Like I did it to them. I'm like, I, I don't know. Check your email. Yeah, you, you got to stay tuned. But but also too, not everybody has time to read every email. I understand. I get I myself, I get between 400 and 450 emails a day on average. So I understand not being able to check your email. Well, look, you but, know, you know, uh, we try. We try our best for sure. We have uh, Leona on, you know, when when we, you know, we made the hat and we said, OK, we're doing pre-order. Now, now, this is something where I'm not making money, right? This is just, hey, let's just put these out to the fans. Let's do a hat, and it'll be fun. And when you do a hat, and we did a high-quality hat and the whole thing, and at the end of the day, once everything is paid for and you pay for shipping and everything, there, we came out we, we came out in the plus column, which was nice. I didn't lose money on it. So... And, and everyone likes it. And I said, OK, Leona could tell you this. We went, OK, everyone pre-order your hats. This is when we're doing it. If you don't do it by this date, you're not going to get it. And then yeah. everyone started getting their hats and everyone goes, I didn't know. How did I not know? I didn't know. Right, Leona? That's right. <laughs> and we ended I... up, so we opened it up again and said, OK, we'll do one more order. And instead of I think the first time we sold, how many we sell the first time, Leona? Just uh, it was 50. It was 50. We ordered 50 hats. Yeah. They sold like that. And then we did it again. It was over 200. It was over yeah. 200, right, Leona? Yeah, it was just around the 200 mark. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, there uh, people don't take you serious. It's like, look, there's X number of hats. I'm, I'm not doing this. I'm doing this because a few people said, hey, we wish you would put a hat out there. So I put it out and boom, they were gone that quickly. And so we did it again. And and, and we could keep doing it and keep selling hats, but I'm not in the hat business, but I will be in the t-shirt business folks. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. With a cooler uh, t-shirt than captain oh, Kirk, the coolest t-shirt. <laughs> That's right. Vinny Tordrich with the coolest t-shirts. Hey, uh, Leona, you ever tried Villa Capelli? All the time. I get it 
I have a big three liter tin in my cabinet right now. Okay. So that's why she can't go to keto con is because she spends all of her money on Billy. Here's the thing when she gets out in the (laughs) desert and she gets, you know, like she's sitting Mm -hmm. on a suitcase and it gets hot out there. Yeah. She's going to cock her head back and she's yeah. be a suitcase. She's going to just drench herself with that Villa Capelli. She has a three liter tin that she carries with her yeah. in her extra suitcase. She has two suitcases, one with yeah. her stuff and one with just Villa Capelli. She'll be glistening from the oil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Folks, if you want to glisten like Lois, please go to villacapelli.com. Put in promo code Vinny. Get the three liter tin. Lois. Um, yes. Look. I love that you answer to Lois. <laughs> Lois. Mm-hmm. Like, like yeah. with just, just a hint of disdain right behind it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Lois, you have Villa Capelli, right? So you, you don't make a dime. On, we, we actually make a dime talking about this. Okay. Mm-hmm. You get the three liter 10, right? I do. Okay. Right? Why do you get the three liter 10 and not the 750 milliliter bottle? It ends up being more economical. Okay. So a and lot of times, that was easy. Go on, go on. And well, well, because then you only um, with that and then adding maybe one of the spices or one of the other flavored oils and stuff, you easily get over um, your hundred dollar mark and you get free shipping. Yeah, people look, I have people on the phone calls. They'll say to me, hey, you know, Villa Capelli, I, I really want to get some but man buying a hundred dollars that three liters will last you a long it time. Does. I mean, not and- me, but you guys. Yes. And Anna mm-hmm. talks about it all the time. You know, she'll find something that's like 40 um, milliliters or something like that. Or what well, else? I, I was at Lassen's restoring the, the, you know, cleaning up the shells for, with the sauce. Right. And it's next to the olive oil section. And they had Lassen's brand olive oil. This is not even one of the name brands, but they had a private label Lassen's brand olive oil, 750 milliliter tin that was. $38 and something and, and not Vinny. What's his name? Stevens is $28, $28.99. Yeah. For the same size. And when you get to three, I was like, what? Liters, when you get to three liters, it's, it's just, less than that. It, yeah. It's, it's way less. So folks, economically, as Anna and I have often talked about doing an, uh, a podcast on economics because we wrote the book on cheap. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And we, you know, we do everything because we grew up not having a lot of money and That's we figured right. out, hey, we can have a good life if we just pay attention to where money goes and how we save money and everything else. It turns out I didn't know that about Anna. She didn't know that about me. We figured yeah. that out along the way. And we're hoping to teach Lois that so that she can have enough money next year to go to KetoCon. That's right. Um, <laughs> so That's right. At, at any rate, um, the bottom line is, is that I one of the things I always do is buy stuff in bulk, because when you look at each serving of it, it goes down in price. You might even notice in grocery stores, you'll go in there and it'll say one price here and one price there. And if you look at the unit price per unit, yeah, the per ounce price, yeah, per ounce when you when you get the larger amount of anything, it's a cheaper price. The same thing happens at Villa Capelli. So if you want to be economical, spend more money. I know that sounds weird, but that's yep. the truth here. Spend the money up front, and then you're not going to have to spend it later. And, you know, and just like Fram oil filters, you can pay me now or you can pay me later. If you also, too, keep that three-liter tin in the cupboard or the pantry or whatever in the dark and then decant some out into an olive oil dispenser, but keep that olive oil dispenser away from your stove. People keep it right next to the stove or right Right. above the stove. And it really is not good. It oxidizes it. Cool. And by the way, use a colored bottle. Do not use clear. Use a ceramic bottle, use a dark glass bottle, but don't use a clear glass bottle because the sunlight will also oxidize it. Absolutely. Um, Villa Capelli folks, you want to save more money, put in promo code Vinny, V-I-N-N-I-E. You will save an extra 10%. Um, over the already low price. And if you spend over $100 after the discount code, uh, you'll get free shipping, which that is the hugest discount right there because yeah. liters is pretty heavy. So you want to really, really save that money. Uh, get Villa Capelli. Uh, people tell me all the time, man, I thought you were just shilling. But I, I just put that with a little salt in my salads. Oh, my God. Oh, my right. God. It's so good. Um, so go check it out. Uh, and uh, 
Uh, Lois, you want to stay on the phone with us? Anna's going to do a story or two before we go. Sure. Story time. With yeah, Anna. she's going to throw a couple of things. I'm not doing I love it. She, she's going to do a story. You mean like a new story? Background? If you want to, or you could comment. You, you're but welcome. here's the thing. Leona, Lauren is going for a colonoscopy tomorrow. And I talked at length about six to eight months ago about how I had a dual colonoscopy endoscopy and the prep process and how much better your life is with NSNG prepping for this kind of stuff. Not to mention mm -hmm. recovery. If you're having an actual surgery, recovery is better if you've been sustaining NSNG for quite some time. So, you know, I like to joke that my husband's ASAG because he is. All sugars, all grains, all, all sugars, all grains. And I like to post on Instagram and in my stories that his and hers, like when we go out to dinner and and I have like the smoked salmon and the, or breakfast and I have the smoked salmon, and the eggs and the bacon, and he's got the waffles and the thing and the fruit. And I post his and hers. And the, the most recent one was we went to the Los Olivos um, mini mart and he got a Ben and Jerry's and I got the little the wrapped. You know how they wrap the cheese with a salami for a little snack? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I posted a his and hers and people really react to that. They're like, I can't. How do you deal with that? And I'm like, I'm fine. It doesn't phase me at all. If I were to feel upset or threatened and told him to not eat that stuff in front of me, he probably wouldn't. But I really don't care. I've been doing it for a long time. And you will get there, too, by the way, folks. Yeah. And for the most part, he now just eats what I eat. He'll just go get ice cream when he wants ice cream. He's an adult. He's allowed to do that. Also, his A1C is 4.2. Fuck that guy, right? Am I right, guys? Okay. Yeah, but he doesn't overeat. You know, we, we give him- No, he food. doesn't overeat. And he eats the stuff you make from eat. Oh, yeah. Because you're making that all the time. So he's not really doing it all. We, you know, we're exaggerating, Laura. He's one of those guys, too. Like you said, 20% yeah. of the population will be able to get away with it. He and Lynette Carollo are the two. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. And um, so, but he's prepping for colonoscopy and I'm fasting with him because um, why not support? And uh, also too, when I've done fasts, I have been very clear with him. You can take your meals in the car and beyond, but like, don't bring it in the house. I don't want to heat, smell heated food in the house while I'm fasting. And he's always been supportive of that. So I'm fasting with him, but I, I got the instructions. And again, I'm still just like gobsmacked about what they want you to eat to prep for your colonoscopy. Well, basically, they don't want you to eat it. They just they're giving you some kind of citric. Um, I'm going to say well, magnesium. Citrate. Well, there's the drink, but I'm talking about what they tell you to eat for the 36 hours prior to your colonoscopy. The, the, all right. So all right. So hang on before you clean out. Right. 36 hours before that. Now, let me ask another question. Mm -hmm. I just had a little surgery here. Um, yeah. You know, I cleaned up for Lois, you know, in case things ever. Yeah, to that level, um, you know, unlike many, I think she wants the two, not the three. Okay. Um, you win some, you okay. lose some. I went in and had surgery. <laughs> uh, I didn't have to take a PCR test or anything. I just went in and did the surgery. Andy was telling me to get any kind of surgery in LA, you have to go in for PCR test and do the whole thing. Did your husband have to do that? No, or? not in Santa Barbara County. Mm -mm. Okay, so that's an LA County thing. I think you answer the questions like, are you symptomatic? Have you been diagnosed with COVID? You know, you answer like the, the litany of regular questions that you answer, but he didn't, he didn't have to. They, they might have asked that, but as you know, I don't fill out forms. So um, uh, they could have asked. So, that. so, and this is, this is very similar to the prep that I had to do, but of course I did it completely differently, which was the day before the colonoscopy, when they tell you to stop eating, I had one of your ultra fat nut butters in the morning. And then I drank water and had ultra salt and had homemade chicken broth with salt for the whole rest of the day. Right. And I got up at 3 a.m. before the second dose of that drink, you know, the, the poopy drink. Mm -hmm. And I shot um, some coffee because I'm not going to not have coffee. Right. And I shot some coffee and uh, got up, did the thing and then went and then they gave me about half of the twilight because I, I had to have the endoscopy. But during the colonoscopy, I was watching the thing and talking to him. And really? um, I thought it was very fascinating. Because remember, I told you, I was like, I, remember all those those lies that, that, that we hear from the plant based people where they say, um, you know, meat is rotted and undigested in your gut. There was nothing in there. It was, it was, it had he was 48 pounds right, of right. meat in his gut when they did. And it. so yeah. I wanted to oh, see this. So it was like, provided I'm not uncomfortable, which I wasn't. I want to see what's going on. And it was the prettiest, pinkest, just pink all the way through, right? Pink all the way through. 
Yeah. I and, couldn't believe uh, it. I was fully expecting to see deposits or something horrible. Okay. So Anna, hang on. Hang so part on. of me subconsciously must have believed those things thinking I'm dirty. I'm glad we're talking about this because when you do one of those, I call them, you know, the gut out, right? The Whenever, enema or the colonoscopy? No, the colonoscopy. Okay. When, when you do the, the, they give basically that drink is just a bunch of magnesium that just right. cleans you out. Right. Did, did you see after regular poop came out and everything? Did you see any? No. Lois, have you no. ever had? Have you ever had one of these done, Lois? I did a couple of years ago. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm asking you too. Um, did you see any rotted meat nope. out of your system? Nothing came out no. but water. Uh, did you see gum that you swallowed when you were 12? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, but that's a really good point, too, because they tried to scare us into not swallowing our gum. Did you see any exactly. little plastic G.I. Joe type figurines? <laughs> that you no, because I'm not a dog, okay. so I okay. didn't see that. <laughs> OK, according to vegans who regularly they are um, who regularly eat their G.I. Joe toys, who, who regularly cleanse themselves because they're I don't know they're cleansing from but they get these uh, things shoved up their butts to do, you know, uh, the enema. The, no, not no, the, the cult. Yeah. No, what's it called? What, what's it called? I did. Uh, I did it before. What's it called? Help us. Lois. Uh, Come on. Uh, Col um, Col colonic, 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 a colonic. Yeah, that was it. And, you know, everybody goes, no, you don't understand. I saw uh, rotted meat and I saw this. Nothing is getting you cleaner than when you push everything out from the top down. Yeah. Right. Towards the end of, of when you're taking that product, when you when you poop, nothing but clear water. You're looking at yeah. clear water. Came you're out. cleaned out. You're cleaned out. And then you saw where there was nothing but pink the whole way. So I ask you, vegans, Anna eats meat all the time. Lois, you eat a lot of meat, don't you? I do. Okay. Did you have, did the doctor go, Hey, we couldn't find the pile because there was too much rotted meat. Around. <laughs> no. Anything By like the way, that? also too, isn't the stomach so acidic that nothing could possibly rot in there anyway? Wouldn't it be decomposed? None of it, none of it is true. It's just lies that these vegan people tell the poor vegans who start, who fall prey to this, you know, it, you know, it drives me nuts. It's just okay, like well, when, when Michael Greger says, Oh, when you eat eggs, you get pus. That's pus. Where is this pus? I didn't see any pus. I've, I've had seven or eight eggs today. I've probably had a pound of beef today. I should have pus oozing out of my ears. At this point. <laughs> but but here, here's what I'm saying. Even though I don't believe that stuff necessarily, the part of me was like, there could be stuff left in my colon. I, 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 and I'm not walking around consciously thinking these thoughts. I'm not sitting you here going, have well, I better cleanse my colon. I don't uh, think that. But yeah, for, during uh, this process, I was. Nothing stays around. You would have sepsis. You, you, you would just get. I you, agree. You, you know, we don't have nothing hangs around. John Wayne didn't have 40 pounds of, of <laughs> undigested, meat. undigested meat in the system. No one does. So, by the way, you do all this stuff and you do the colonoscopy and then you wake up or you're, you're right. released or whatever. Yeah. And they they wheel you out and I hop right up when I'm ready to go. And they're like, no, you have to get in the wheelchair and we have to wheel you out. I'm like, oh, OK, so I sit in the wheelchair. I try, you know, I don't like that. I'm like, I'm fine. I can just walk out. Well, I, like the, I like the wheelchair ride. You do. I don't like yeah. it. It makes me feel. Yeah, I don't like it. But everyone else afterwards was literally like just DOA. You know what I mean? Like they are, they had been fasting. They were waking up groggy from the thing, you know, and I was like, I'm so glad that I prepped by doing an SNG that I've prepped by intermittent fasting before that I've had done some things so I could experience it. So Lauren gets the thing. And I was like, Oh, forward that to me because he was reading it. Like, wait, what? <laughs> like, and he does listen, by the way, he does right. listen. He knows what we're talking about and he agrees. He's just going to go rogue when he wants to go rogue. So Here's what they want you to do. First of all, they explain the colonoscopy, what happens before, before, during, after procedure. So what they want you to do the day before your colonoscopy, according to his doctor, follow the white diet all day. What's the white eat, diet? We're going to get into it. You may eat from the white diet list of foods until 2 p.m. the day before. Only clear fluids are allowed after 2 p.m. Clear fluids include water, soda water, mineral water, ginger ale, sports drinks, but not red, purple, or blue, lemonade, 
apple juice, black coffee and tea, that made me happy, jello, not red, or clear soup. For example, clear chicken broth. Can you guess what people are going to drink? They're probably not going to go for the chicken broth. They're I'm, going to go for ginger the, ale. Or the, the sports. Lemonade, the, the, the Gatorade. Right. Right. Yeah, they're, they're gonna, gonna have. Sure. They're gonna have. Wait, you can't have red, purple, or blue Gatorade. But does that mean you could? Have, wait, what could you have? How green many Gatorade? colors do they have? Yellow Gatorade. Anyway, so the white diet is this, and then you drink your drinks and, you know, hug the toilet. What did you have, Lois? It was a couple of years ago. I don't remember, but um, it was probably actually the broth, and uh, broth and water. I kept it really simple. I didn't, I, and I definitely didn't do Gatorade. No. And but in doesn't, fact, it, doesn't it make you think, though, it's like when they tell you to stay away the red, uh, away from the red Gatorade, if I recall correctly, it's because it can give you a kind of a false reading of. Yeah, well, I think it messes, it messes with the, the uh, machinery. Yeah. It was like because of the dye or something like, OK, mm-hmm. shouldn't, that, shouldn't that tell you right there if it's got something that's going to taint a result? Yeah. She said taint, but I, yeah, I, I heard her say taint. Yeah. <laughs> she definitely said taint. Yeah, um, I agree. And by yeah, the way, uh-huh. they even say in here if you're having pro- problems drinking the drink, which by the way, the drink's not pleasant, but just guzzle it. Come on, you guys, are we children? Yeah. Just guzzle it. They're like, you can have a jolly. It says in here, you could have a jolly rancher to suck on. A jolly. If it's rancher. too hard to drink the drink, what? Is that, am I just like overreacting to this? Like, are we children? We can't like do a thing. Is Jolly Rancher still a thing? It's it's Jolly Ranchers. Use hard candies, i.e. Jolly Ranchers during drinking to buffer the taste. I mean, you just guzzle it down. I know. Okay, see, here's the white diet food that's allowed. Milk, white colored yogurt, no added fruit, mayonnaise, cream, sour cream, butter and margarine, oil for cooking. White bread, toast, rice bubble cereal, meaning like, uh, what's it called? Not the corn flakes, rice krispies, corn puffs, eggs, white rice, regular pasta, potatoes, rice noodles, rice crackers, white sh- white flour, sugar. Well, wait, when, when are you going to have? This? I had none of that. Chicken breast, white fish fillet, cream cheese, cheddar ricotta, feta cottage, mozzarella, parmesan, white chocolate, vanilla ice cream, lemonade ice block, custard. Milk bottles, which are white confectionery, and then the fluids I read to you. Food not allowed, anything not listed above, or other white colored foods such as fruit, vegetables, pears, parsnip, cauliflower, onion, high fiber, white bread, tofu, coconut, porridge, banana, mushroom, semolina, couscous, popcorn. They don't want you to have those things. I'm, I'm wait, how, how, how far in advance can you have that? Uh, it, this just says the day before. So basically, but they want, they said before you start taking the, 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 liquid, the drink. Right? So here's the day before that they give you a sample menu plan, breakfast, glass of milk, rice bubbles with milk and white sugar, ice bubbles, what the fu- rice Krispies. I think this is a British. They copied it from a British thing because they call them rice bubbles over there. Glass of milk, rice Krispies with milk and sugar, scrambled eggs and white toast. There's your breakfast. <sighs> Morning tea, glass of mineral water, plain rice crackers with cheese. Lunch, glass of lemonade, white bread sandwich with sliced chicken bread, cream cheese, or mayonnaise. This is a crazy, this is crazy. crazy. Afternoon tea, plain vanilla yogurt, vanilla milkshake, a vanilla milkshake. Who's eating this? Who's who's eating? Dinner's at 2 p.m. I'm getting white, sick listening to this white fish fillet with white rice or mashed potato or regular pasta with diced chicken breast and Parmesan cheese or chicken soup with rice noodles and sliced chicken breast, glass of soda water, vanilla ice cream. What? This is bonkers. I'm pretty sure I didn't even read this list because I don't remember. <laughs> Yeah. So if you guys get this list and then you drink, so that's at 2 PM, you stop eating. I guess you finish up with your vanilla ice cream and then at, at five or six, you start the drink and then you do the drink again the next one. But I'm like, what, what are we doing now? I'm being Vinny. What are we doing? This is crazy. Am I wrong? It is. I, I, I had no idea. I had no idea. Because usually you take the papers and you just go. Yeah. Just give me the thing to drink. 
and everything comes out. I, I can fast for a day. I know. That's what I'm saying. We can't go one day. No, people are like big fucking babies, man. But uh, but as Americans, you know what? Also, too, it's that thing that we don't talk about that much. But you've described it before that when you gain weight, your fat cr- creates its own endocrine system and you become yeah. you feel like you're starving. Yeah, because that fat mass has to be fed according to the hormonal system that exists. It's not that simple, but yes, I, I know I'm simplifying it, but it's like this is why people are struggling and they're like, OK, well, I, I guess if I finish. And the other thing I think, too, is the times that I do have carbs and put life into living, how much it exacerbates me feeling hungry when I don't usually feel hungry. So imagine ending your thing at 2 p.m. with the vanilla ice cream, right? Right. Then you are starving by like 4 or 5 p.m. Because you've crashed. Am I wrong? I know you're looking for a song right now. <laughs> I know what you're doing. <laughs> you I can know? see you. <laughs> How do you know? How do you know what I'm doing? All right, I'm done. We did. I know we're going longer today, but I, bl- I blame you. I blame you. Yeah, look, like I, want, I, want, I want to get my girlfriend on. What can I, I tell you? All right. Um, Anna, one quick question, though. Um, do you mind my asking how did they give you um, with your results that like the next time you have to bother with your next colonoscopy? What? Like, what do you mean? Like, um, do I need like, oh, to like, schedule another one or yeah. what do you mean? Yeah. When you, yeah. Did they, cause for mine, everything was so, it was all clear. I don't have to go back for 10 years. They told me literally don't bother. Oh, back. oh no. Mine was mine was cause I had an endoscopy and a colonoscopy and ironically um, the, the celiac, which is an autoimmune disease, they said with the endoscopy, there is no evidence of damage from having celiac disease. So if I went in to be tested for celiac disease, they wouldn't find any damage and they would not diagnose me because I eat this way. Mm-hmm. But when I was first diagnosed, I had the damage because I was eating the foods. Wait, Vinny, you're muted all of a sudden. Can you hear me? No, I can hear you. Can you oh, hear- there you are. Um, and then the colonoscopy results was a uh, leukocytic colitis, which is another autoimmune disease that they suspected. And, but that's what we, they were checking out. And so the thing wasn't like, Hey, let's do another colonoscopy to check it out soon or whatever. The doctor called me and he said, so it's leukocytic colitis. And both of those words, leukocytic means presence of leukocytes or white blood cells, right? right. Colitis means an inflammation of the colon. Okay. So there are no polyps or anything like that. So it just means there are white blood cells and your colon's inflamed. So I said, okay, what, what is it? We don't know. Well, what causes it? We don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do I do about it? Well, (laughs) there's a course of steroids and I was like, oh, I'm probably not going to do that. And he's like, well, I, you, you, if you have an episode, you're going to need to do the steroids. And I was like, okay, well, why don't you just write me the prescription? I'll just have it. Cause I've done that a million times. Like, okay, whatever. And I have the prescription that I never use it. Right but at least you have it. And he goes, well, I can't do that because it's, it's a three week long course of steroids. (laughs) And I was like, Oh, and then I told him with all due respect, I'm never going to take that. Yeah. So if, if I get in a bad way, thank you. I'm glad to know that I can call you and do that, but I'm not going to do that. And he goes, okay, no problem. And then we hung up and that was it. So I don't know when I have to do another one, maybe when I'm 50, I don't know. Uh, Lois, (laughs) how old were you when you had yours done? Um, I have probably more like 52. Okay. So 52, doesn't it stand to reason that you went 52 years, nothing happened. Maybe you go another 52 years before you have to go back in it stands to reason, yeah. right? But they want you back in 10. Well, you know, let's do the math. So you went at 52. But aren't they screening for colon cancer? Uh, yeah, but let's say you went from zero to 12, you know, you still got that new ass smell. So you don't need to <laughs> yeah, you're right. a buy around, but maybe in 40 years, maybe when you're 92, you should go back in. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Isn't that how that should work? You made it 50 years, not one pile, nothing. Nothing. You should, shouldn't they go, hey, Mary, you're good. But they don't. They go, no, nah, we need you back in 10 years. Do you ever wonder about that? Uh, I do, actually. It's crazy, right? I'm See, not I don't. I think that's OK. I feel like with the amount of colon cancer that's proliferating, maybe not with yeah. people who yeah, have a look, cleaner I'm a diet, big, I'm but I'm OK with people getting screened. I'm, 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 I love preventative things like this, right? 
and I'm being funny here, but it does seem that if you if you had nothing now, if, you know, look, we there was three or four polyps, we took care of them. Then I would go, okay, every five years I'm going in. But if you got a complete clean bill of health, and they're going, yeah, you know, you made it 52 years, you need to come back in 10. Seems well, quick, right? I got a complete clean bill of health, except for this autoimmune disease that there's nothing to do about it other than I guess you're right. you know what I mean. So but but that's why I'm like, and he didn't give me a thought like, hey, come back in five. He didn't say anything. So I don't know. And so I'm just like, I for me, here's the thing. You don't have to have a diagnosis to do NSNG and keep your inflammation down. That's the reason right. why you keep your inflammation down so that if something goes wonky like that, you don't have to go on steroids for three weeks because you're shitting your brains out. Yeah. Well, if I had a nickel for every time. Oh my God, I say it all the time. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Folks, if you like what's going on here, you know what to do. We all go, um, we all go shopping. Well, I do Anna's first. Why am I doing mine first? Folks, Anna Vocino. Anna Vocino. I just talked about shitting my brains out. Now we're going to talk about Anna what delicious food that I make. When Anna is not shitting her brains out. <laughs> she I don't do that very often. I'll be honest. She's writing books. She doesn't just use paper to wipe her ass. She writes on it sometimes and then puts it out to you guys. And you know what makes me sick? At the xylitol. And yeah. The erythritol. That's why I don't do that stuff. She doesn't do any of it. And folks, when you go get her books, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Serena's upstairs right now cooking right out of Eat Happy 2, I think. I think it's Eat Happy Amazing. Too. Yeah. Um, so, no, this stuff is amazing. You want to go check out everything Anna Vecino is doing with the Eat Happy cookbooks. And um, I have fallen in love with all these powders she has. Um, I, I, don't yeah. even, I don't think I'm using them correctly. But I'm using it enjoying it. I'm just putting it on eggs, hard boiled eggs. I made ranch deviled eggs on Instagram the other day. I saw that. I saw that. You made it. Are you calling it Vinny's ranch double? No, no. Well, no, because I'm going to make Vinny's egg salad. Oh, okay. Which will be a version of that. All right, good. Those are those are Kevin Biggs ranch deviled eggs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can't I still can't believe he's gone. I know. It's awful. It's awful. I sent I sent Tracy the spicy sure. marinara, his wife. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I feel like we have a little family here. Yeah, we do. You know, and um, it, we we lost a member of our family. I know. What, what a good guy. I, you know, I did a few podcasts with that guy. I did some consults. Just a good guy all Just the way around. All around the best yeah. guy. Yep. Wow. Well, oh, man. At uh, any rate, uh, go check out everything Anna Vecino is doing. Go to eathappykitchen.com and you'll see everything she has going on there. With me, I have... Um, before you go to Amazon, go to VinnyTotteries.com, click through the banner. It puts a little coal on the fire and it gets my train down the track. I'm able to keep the show free for a gazillion years to pay people like Anna and Lois there who will be collecting a check from you guys doing that. So mm -hmm. thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, um, we have a super fan page at VinnyTotteries.com and I check every day and I see every name of every person coming in. So thank you guys for that. That's cool. Okay, Thanks, you guys, for doing this that. off.